Hello students now we'll be solving memory based questions of gate 20 for more video solutions on gate 20 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon for instant notification hello students in this video we'll be solving general aptitude memory based questions from instrumentation and mechanical four noon paper i'm sure that this video is being watched by the students who have already uh, given exam just finished the exam to check whether their solution is correct or not and also being watched by students who are future gate aspirants or maybe they are having exam tomorrow or next week i am assuring you that this video is going to be very useful for you next before starting i i want to proudly say that we are the first institute continuously from four years to to release detailed gate paper analysis solution and memory based questions in very structured way before going to questions i want to proudly announce that continuously four year in a row we are the only institute to give detailed analysis properly structured memory based question with their answer key this is happening because of your love and support so before going to question i just want to quickly give the summary of journal aptitude section which uh, uh, came in the morning paper so journal aptitude question there were quant there were question from quant and english there were questions from quant and english english is again classified into two sometimes reasoning is having a logical segment into it and sometimes there is a verbal reasoning question so if we talk about if we talk about the uh, weightage the weightage of quant in english was almost on par but the question difficulty level if you are talking about it was easy to moderate only few question was having trick in fact i want to also stress here question was looking like it is a big question or lengthy question but there was shortcut also which we will be learning in this particular session i am not here just to give you solution quickly like other institutes no we will be solving questions in detail and looking at every point every loophole of the question so let's start the solution so let's take first memory based question this question is from graph chapter so uh, here i want to say that we uh, i'll be only reading important data of the question if you want full complete question in front of you you can click the link given in the description below to download the complete memory based questions to download the complete memory based question so let's look in this uh, question this was a one mark question i am writing this as a question number one the number can be uh, different okay since it is a memory based question it was given that graph of x raised to m and graph of x raised to 1 upon m so there were four four options given and from those four options we have to choose the correct option here i can simply say this is the correct option but i have to explain also so let me explain the nature of graph so let's start let's start with the first one let's start with the first one there are uh, a few more condition given like here it is written x lie between this and m is greater than 1 these are very important condition now let's talk about the nature of graph in each case so if we talk about nature of graph in each case if i talk about y is equal to x raised to m so if my x is uh, uh, any number between this and m is greater than 1 my graph can be x uh, square x cube x raised to 4 and so on that means it's a polynomial so we all know that for y is equal to x square the function the function looks like this why because y will not be negative for any x value whether it is positive or negative you can take some values and plot this okay but when we talk about y x cube when we talk about y x cube the graph will look like this 
Why it is going in negative y direction? It is very obvious for negative x values, the cube will be negative. For negative x values, cube will be negative. That's why it is going. But here, we don't have to worry because they have already given that it is talking about the first quadrant only. So, if I have to understand from first quadrant, this is my first quadrant, this is my first quadrant, the graph is almost similar. Only based on the powers, the graph little bit will be inside or outside, the same nature. Now, this is done, this particular part. Now, let's talk about the trickier, trickier part. Trickier part, if we look at this, y is equal to x 1 by m. So, this can be y is equal to square root of x or cube root of x or fourth root of x and so on. Now, sometimes what happens, students get confused what to do with this data. So, let's try to plot it. So, if you are talking about y is equal to root x, y is equal to root x and if I want to plot this, so if I put x is equal to 1, my y is equal to 1 x equal to 0, y is equal to 0. After that, what happens, if my x is equal to 4, then y will be equal to 1. If my x is equal to 9, y will become 3. That means, graph will look like this. You can plot and check. The graph will look like this. Now, if you can ask, sir, why it is not going in the negative y direction? It is very obvious. Because if x will be negative value, for example, it is not defined. Okay, so we cannot plot that in graph. Now, let's take one more example. This way. When it is cube root, when it is cube root, so what will happen, this will be like this and it will go like this. Because, for example, if I am putting x is equal to minus 8, I can say y is equal to minus 2. That's why it is going in this direction. Now, let's look the entire picture now. If you will look, our question is talking about this segment and this segment. And if you know the question, if you know the question or if you can see the PDF, which you have downloaded already now, now the option, the correct option is option C. So the graph is intersection of both the graphs the graph is intersection of both the graphs. So, I'll, I'll make the intersection over there. So, if I'll add this to this, this will be like this, where this stands for x square and this stands for x raised to xm or this stands for x one m. So, what I have done here, you can see that I have not just focused on solving questions here. I just wanted to explain the concept also. This is the beauty about our video solutions where we will be explaining the concept in detail so that the aspirants who are targeting uh, for the exam in coming sessions, they'll, it will be very helpful for them. So, I, I hope you like this video. Please do give thumbs up and uh, share with your friends. Let's uh, move on to the second question. So, second memory based question is on the board. This is also one mark question. This belongs to vocabulary part and it was very easy. So, no, not to worry too much about that. So, build, building, grow and that is an analogy, analogy question which is uh, concerned about the vocabulary. So, if you know about a noun, verb, then it is very easy to solve for you. So, here if you look at the relation, if you look at the relation very closely, building this particular part is noun and this particular part is verb. That means if I have to follow the principle of analogy, this particular part will be verb and this has to be noun. So if I look at the option, the option C, growth, growth is noun. So here the answer will be C, growth. Thank you. Next move to third memory based question. The series is given like 8 plus 88 plus triple 8 plus 4 times 8. What is the sum up to n terms? So here, please note that there is a traditional method also and there is a quick shortcut also. With the shortcut, you can solve question in 2 seconds. Okay, but we, everyone should understand the traditional method also very well before going to the shortcut. So let's solve this question with the traditional method first. So when we start solving with the traditional method first, 
so i take eight common so this question representation will become like this now if i have to further solve this uh, uh, this particular question what i will do i will try to convert into some simplifiable form so what i am doing i am multiplying by 9 and dividing by 9 here i can represent every number like this now it becomes like this this 10 will form a series which is in jp sorry gp but is geometric progression minus this one up to n times so here if it is gp you know the formula gp what is the formula of gp sum is equal to a which is first term r is which is common uh, ratio so what is the first term here 10 ratio also 10 square by 10 is 10 upon 10 minus 1 which is 9 so this will become and this will become n because 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus n time is nothing but n I will solve here only. So it will become 80, 81. This is my answer. So if I have, have to look uh, at the options, memory based options which I have got, the answer is B. If I have to see the memory based question, so the answer is B. Now I was telling that there is a shortcut also for this question. Sometimes what happens, students will ask question, sir, uh, uh, how this will struck in our mind that this we have to do or this we have to do. That's why there's a shortcut also. I'll tell you how to approach for shortcut. So this is, they were talking about n terms. This is, they were talking about n terms. n terms. That means this is the first term. This is the second. This is third. Correct. So if I will put n is equal to 1 here. If I put n is equal to 1 here, you will get answer in 2 seconds. So let's put n is equal to 1. So n is equal to 1 is 10 minus 1 which is 9. And here is 8 by 9. So let's solve this. I will solve here. 80 upon 81 into 9 minus 8 by 9. When you will solve this, you will get answer as 8. That means the first term you are getting. So what is a shortcut? shortcut? Shortcut is if you are putting n is equal to 1 in all the option, in all the option, if the answer is coming as 8, if answer is coming as 8, you can confidently take the, the, that answer where answer is coming as the 8 because n is equal to 1 here. This is the first term. Na? So sum, sum up to first term will be 8. If you put n is equal to 2, it will be 8 plus 88. It will be 8 plus 88. That is 96. So suppose there are two such options where it is coming as 8. Then you have to put n is equal to 2 and see whether the answer coming as 96 or not. So it will hardly take 5-10 seconds to solve this particular type of question with shortcut. This will be very useful for the students who are going to write the exam. Please, please note this and share to your friends. Now let's look at the next memory based question. I am just reading out the question and as I said earlier, if you want to download the full paper, you can click on the description given in the link below. Uh, I do not think this is a verbal question, one mark question. I do not think you know the case well enough to have opinion. Okay, that means someone is contrasting to someone. Having said that, I agree with your point. So what does the phrase having said that mean? That means in a position I am telling that you do not have that much knowledge to comment on this, but having said that, I agree. So in addition, obviously it will not be in addition because here there are two opposite things. So in opposed, so here opposition is not happening that he is not opposing the statement. He is a contrary statement is happening from his side only, the speaker side only that I am telling that you do not have enough knowledge. Having said that, I agree. I am contrasting my own statements 
contrary and despite now what happens sometimes here people will get uh, get confused contrary to what i have said and despite what i have said so here we have to choose option as d despite because i know that whatever i'm saying but even after that i agree to your point because here contrary word will not suit properly so the answer will be d the answer will be d let's move to the next question now let's look at the next memory based question the question is again it is a english question he is known for his unscrub plus ways he always sheds dash tears to deceive people now in this question there are option like crocodile fox crocodile tears fox tears so what we have to fill in this this was pretty simple in fact few of you might have guessed also that's why uh, many of you have given the correct answer he is known for his unscrupulous behavior so ways so first we should understand what is the meaning of this this meaning is not honest or not ethical so that means the person the person is known for his unethical behavior but he always sheds crocodile tears to deceive people deceive means what is the meaning of deceive deliberately deliberately cause someone to believe something that is not true so here deliberate attempt attempt uh, is being taken to make sure that people should believe which is not true so here he is just shedding fake tears and uh, what is the word which we use in english for fake tears is crocodile tears crocodile tears it will not be crocodile tears because it will be it, it will have some other meaning that means we are talking about actually crocodile okay we are talking about representation of tears and the phrase name is crocodile tears okay so that's why the answer will be a crocodile tears here the answer will be a answer will be a so these are the few memory based question of general aptitude we'll be also uploading more question as and when we'll receive uh, memory based questions from students and also for other subjects as well we request you to share memory based questions on this whatsapp number so that we can make video and video solution for those questions as well if you feel that some of the data memory based of memory based question was not correct please feel free to comment in the uh, 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 in the comment section below if you have liked the video please thumbs up and share the video with your friends thank you